hello and welcome to vmm video series in this video series we are going to watch how to add a lan disk to host using svmm i have one svmm server one iscsi target one domain controller and one host windows server 2012 r2 this demonstration we have four steps step one how to create a lan step two allocate storage added to host group step three initiate iscsi initiator on host step four add iscsi array and disk to host let us watch step one following are the iscsi targets that we added before create logical unit select storage pool name your lan here lan2 allocate the required capacity i give 25 click okay now you can see the lan is created and that is not assigned to any host let's just watch the second step allocate storage array to host group allocate capacity select host group and allocate logical units now you can add the logical unit that you created in this previous step click ok close the tab here my host h1 and h2 are arranged in all host group and if you have any different group you have to choose that now select the required host and choose storage click add you will see add iscsi array is grayed out here in order to use add iscsi array you need to initiate iscsi initiator in the host machine so let us watch how to initiate iscsi initiator on host to initiate iscsi initiator let us open host2 machine login click tools select iscsi initiator so you are uh, noticing that the iscsi initiator is not running and once you proceed this will start iscsi initiator service let us verify iscsi initiator service is automatic or manual from the services go to microsoft iscsi initiator service yeah that is automatic so now go back to the system center machine and here select add iscsi array still it's grayed out it will take some time to be available here so just refresh your host and wait for a while so we are watching the fourth step add iscsi array and disk to host now that add iscsi array is appeared here so just click select the array and select the target portal and initiate your ip create 
now add disk this will add the 25 GB LAN that we created and allocated in the previous step so just click OK so now when you open storage under fabric you can see the logical unit now is assigned so that is all in this video series for more videos visit niasitpro.com or subscribe my youtube channel tech